it don't matter if it's playing online or my team. I'm going to show y'all guys the best sense how to lock down your opponent and make them waste quit or make them mad in the game. First, I'm explaining in details what these sets could do so that way you could stop your opponent. And then after that, I'm going to show y'all the gameplay footage, what I, what I did to make guys quit or make them angry or they can't really do nothing. All right, first thing first, on-board pressure. Now, if you're a mine team player, you know, the cards right now, they had like rubies and images and some diamonds. In the beginning, you could you could afford to play tight or moderate. That means that their shooting ability is not really that good for the moment. And those are people who's new to my team, we around January and February, February or March, that's when the cards get better. So that way you play tight, off-ball and on-ball. But you gotta be careful with a backdoor cut though. But now, if you're a plain online play or plain online player, well, you could go with a moderate or play tight. Depends what team you play against. Or if you if you play both my team and play now, this is for you, for everybody. So now on ball pressure. Like I said, you can put tight or moderate. Now if you are playing on a line guy, you can fully put moderate because not a lot of guys don't want to shoot. Depends what team you playing against. Like if you play a team against the Blazers or the Warriors, teams that that can shoot but not a slasher, then you have to put tight because you don't you don't want them to get open looks. So you can put tight if you want to. It depends on your IQ and your style of play on defense because not a lot, not a lot of guys have that. It's all about the mental of a player. So you gotta have that. You don't have it, then you gonna learn anyway. But off ball, I'm gonna tell you something. Do not put the not ball, especially against like the Lakers or the Bucks, teams like the San Francisco because they they slash it. Those are the slashing teams. So you don't want to do that. Because they're gonna kill you in an all ball situation. You could you could play all ball all you want to, but your AI, your CPU defense cannot react on the backdoor cut. You will be a lot of trouble. You're not gonna guard that on your own, especially the CPU. So do not put denial ball unless you're going up against shooters like Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, or Kevin Durant. Maybe Kevin Durant, but most of the time, like spot up shooters, we just put denial ball, but not on everybody. So that's kind of risky. People people be lazy with the settings. Or deny the ball and put in all. No, don't put in all. Put in a, on some. If you if you want to go to uh, what's that called? Play focus. Then you could do that. But that's right now. You want to do all this? Put like moderate or tight. Just help y'all win or play better defense. Now force direction is up to you and your decision. You want to force the middle? That's fine. But I think going baseline is kind of easy. But it's best to force the middle because that's where everybody is at on defense. Now, on ball screen, it depends what team you're facing. But on my team, and everybody can shoot, this mind just go over at this point and make them drive, make them take two instead of threes. But it depends what animation you get because sometimes you get stuck on the screen and not everybody has pick dodger. Maybe they have pick dodger on my team, but playing now, not everybody has that. Not everybody has gold pick dodger. Most people had like bronze or no pick dodger at all, like Dame Dollar or Steph and Stephen Curry. They had no pick dodger at all. So you use those guys. If you get stuck in the screen, that's on them. That's on you. So you gotta play with a lockdown team to help you out on the defense. So going under means that it prevents guys from driving to the rim, like rim running, like with LeBron James, Giannis, Ben Simmons, you know, guys like that. Now you could put no hedge. That's cool because not a lot of people will be shooting. They like to rim run before shooting. If you see the guy cannot shoot, then that, that works out for you. But he could shoot, then you gotta make an adjustment. So it's a, that's on you on your IQ, like I said. But he can't adjust, he can't shoot, all he do is drive. Best bet, you can make a guy quit by doing that. No hedge with a center or, or a point guard, it don't, or with the guards, it don't matter. Now, stay attached. Now, this is tricky because a lot of people, people get confused with this. Now, if you want to switch on a um, pick and roll screen, cause you know a lot of guys do screen at every play. If you want them to switch, just put um, on your screens, put never, never attached. Means that they're gonna switch. For example, if I had Kawhi Leonard on Steph Curry, Ka Kawhi is not gonna stick defense on Steph Curry. He gonna switch and try to guard the, the center or Draymond Green, so you don't want that. So when you put always attached, that means that he gonna follow him. He gonna follow Stephen Curry. Like say you use Kawhi Leonard on defense, or Scottie Pippen Webb, or Michael Jordan. He gonna follow him whether it's a screen or not. Even though he fight through a screen, he's still gonna be on. There's gonna be no switching. 
But it's up to you. If you want to play the the um the hedge gang with the center or power forward, you could do that. Or you could guard it yourself. It's up to you. It depends on your RQ. I play between the pick and roll with the center. But sometimes the center reaction is so dumb. So I like the CPU handed that on the pick and roll. People could play, oh, that's all balling. Who cares? You're trying to win. But anyway, you can put stay attached to get ready. But my team, you can get away of switching because everybody got defense on Hall of Fame and goal at later on. Not not right now in the beginning, but if you're new to my team, make sure you can put switch if you want to or attach. It's up to you. But you're a player around player, make sure you put attach because they're going to look for that mismatch all the time. They're going to look for that. So make sure you put attach. Now, off ball screen. Hmm, oh boy, it's like the, you could go over because most of the time they want like a three point play so that you want to go over the screen and make them take two and say going for a three on the own. Um, but they want places so like a three point play, like quick phone horn or a floppy play, things like that. You'll go over the screen. Or you could, or you could switch, it's up to you. Now, on the post, some people put front. Mean like, I'm gonna give you an example. Say you guard, guard against Kareem on Dude Jabbar, any great centers. Like Shaq, um, Jokic, Joel and B. Make sure you put front, so that way you could deny him. But you could put behind if you're not worried about the center, so that way you get the rebound. But you trying to stop that center and then paint mashing, just put front, so you can uh, make a harder front. So that way you get steals and things like that. The other team put on man, you you don't need auto because they be doing dumb stuff. All right, switch rules. Make sure. That you put it with the with the guards, not with the bigs, with the guards only. Don't do it with the don't put all unless if you're a mind team player. If you're a mind team player, then you can do all. It doesn't matter. But you're a plain online player, make sure you put with the guards only, or just leave that or leave that alone. Now this is this is a controversial topic because people get mad when they players keep helping. But on my team. If you're a Monty player only, make sure you put no help because they look for that. Make sure you put no help, no help on the drive, and no help on the cutter. But in the beginning, you could put help, but later on in, in, in my team, like January and March, April, make sure you put no help because you don't want them to get an open look from the corner and things like that because they be dropping from the coverage. So, and my, my team players, you don't have to worry about that. But playing online, it depends what team you play against. I'm going to give you an example. If you play against the Warriors, like the 16 Warriors, the 72 Warriors, make sure you put no help, no help, no help. Because you don't want to give them an open look. Make them drop to the rim. That's their weakness. Now, if you play against a team like the Bucks, Lakers, 76ers, or any, any other team that drop to the rim, make sure you put help D in rotation and help. And help right there. You don't want help on the screens, but make sure you put no help on the screen still. But drive. Help rules, make sure you put help all the time because the guys like to rim run all the time, so you want to bring in center to help out. Just in case you get beat or you get muscled by, Le by LeBron James or Giannis, so the center could help out or, you know, things like that. You don't want to be by yourself because they're going to score very easily. So you can put help there if you know exactly what you're doing. You don't want to put no help D on the, on the team that slashes to the rim because you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But against a shooting team like the Nuggets and the Warriors, make sure you put no help D. You don't want to give up no three-pointers at all. Now, the rest of the centers, you don't need to worry about this right here. You don't need to worry about that. Except the transition to defense. It's up to you. If you want to put no threes, you want to give them no threes in the transition, that's fine. Make them take twos. But you want them to wall up and they just drive it to the rim. Cool. But... I will y'all, I'll put no threes because people look for the threes and the two. Remember that. They always look for the three before the two because of transition. All right, guys? Now, last thing I'm going to say before I show the gameplay. You could do like an individual matchup. You could do that in my team or playing online. It's up to you. Individual matchup. You don't have to put all on everybody. But you can make people mad by doing that. And sometimes guys quit off the game before you even get started. So you want to piss them off? Go right ahead. Cause this is what happened, they're gonna mess up the movement in this game. So so guys like that like that are gonna off ball. Back up, back up. You know he gonna win, run. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, Drew Holiday versus Dane. Yeah, he gonna clamp that up. Yo, the Celtics is dangerous. This is a dangerous team, man. I don't know the overall gonna stay the same, but they dangerous. Look, all he do is forcing it. Like he got one. Hell no. Did he Drew Holiday? 
Let him know that you here. A good day. Nothing, nothing easy over here. Nothing easy. Good health D. That's what I'm talking about. I hope him. My man paying attention. I'm gonna make him shoot. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. I know they're gonna. I knew he gonna do that move. Let me get that. Thank you. Oh, 2K didn't give me that. Uh huh. Wait, man. Why do how they got a shot takeover? What the hell? That don't make no sense. Yo, 2K is so backwards. I seen it. I seen it. Nope. Good defense, Drew Holiday. Those long ass arms. Pause. Thank you. About time you quit the game. 